Honorable Members of Parliament, Her Excellency the President of the United Republic of Tanzania, and Madam Speaker. Yeah. Yeah. Right Honorable Malungo Chisandano, First Deputy Speaker, Right Honorable Moses Moyo, Second Deputy Speaker, yeah. Honorable Ministers and Deputy Ministers here present, Honorable Members of Parliament, Mr. Roy Gurubi, Clerk of the National Assembly, dignitaries here present, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the government of the people, of the United Republic of Tanzania, I thank you for this honor to address the initial Assembly. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Madam Deputy Speaker, at the outset, I wish to convey my deepest condolences to the Speaker and yourselves, members of Parliament, to all members of this House and the people of Zambia, for the passing of an honorable and most one excuse my pronunciation, yeah, yeah. Uh, former speaker of the National Assembly and one of the great sons of this land. Yeah. He was a frequent visitor to Tanzania and made many good friends there. Oh, yeah. Our hearts go out to his family. May the Lord grant them the fortitude to bear this loss. <coughs> we pray that his soul rests in eternal peace. I'm here in Zambia with the invitation of His Excellency President Hakainde Chilema. Yeah. Yeah. My, yeah, yeah, yeah. my stay in Zambia has been remarkable. Yeah. 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 Hospitality has been exceptional. Yeah. Yeah. I caution my President Chilema that with this kind of treatment, I might be knocking the doors in Zambia now. After all, to us, Zambia is also home. Yeah. Yeah. Madam Deputy Speaker, um, I'd like to congratulate all the honorable members of this house for being interested to be the voices of the Zambian people. In my career, I had the honor to represent constituencies, first in the House of Representatives of Zanzibar and later in the Parliament of the United Republic of Tanzania. It is a special privilege and responsibility and one which is also of key importance in the relations between our two countries. This is, this is a point I'll return to before I conclude. For now, it will be remiss of me if I really salute you, Madam Deputy Speaker, for being the, uh, Madam Speaker for that matter, for being the first female speaker in the history of Zambia. Yeah, yeah. My election to the speakership is testament of her commitment and dedication to the public service and the confidence her peers have in her leadership. But let me add this. These attributes have also been recognized in the region and beyond. Just this September, you are awarded by your global peers the distinguished title of the Commonwealth Parliamentarian of the Year 2023. Yeah. As, such, as such, we also commend you for the remarkable job you are doing. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. 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 Madam Deputy Speaker, thank you for inviting me to address this at this assembly. And I know with gratitude that under your able leadership, I'm the first female head of state to join the list of foreign dignitaries who have addressed this at this house. Yeah. 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 I am humbled. Madam Deputy Speaker, Honorable Members, distinguished guests, 
the relations between our two countries was solidified by the late Mwalimu Julius Nyerere yeah. and was a Dr. Kenneth Kaunda, yeah. 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 our founding fathers. Yeah. Their closeness made us understand the close ties we share with the Zambian people. In Tanzania, we adore President Kaunda. Yeah. So much so that we got carried away with his time in our time, yeah. which left the lasting impression in the form of Kaunda suit. Yeah. Yeah. Today, the Kaunda suit is an official dress yes. in Tanzania and recognized so even by our government. Yeah. Yeah. To us, the style and attire mean many things. Mm -hmm. It conveyed pride in our freedom, it spoke to our working class roots and our ties to the soil, and it spoke to our solidarity in managing our affairs. Yeah. In solidarity, these two leaders also led our countries in the fight for liberation of Southern Africa. This is a legacy and noble heritage that we should endeavor to protect. I'm happy to note that the closeness and bonds between our two countries have endured. Across our borders, the links between our countries have grown in many respects. On land, we are linked by the Tanzan Highway and by the Tazara Railway. Underground, we are linked by the Tazama oil pipeline. Above the surface, we are linked in two respects. The power transmission lines, linking East African power pool and the Southern African power. <coughs> and also by air, Tanzania passengers, passenger planes, and soon, cargo flights. Yeah. Yeah. With all this in mind, going forward, I can only say, Madam Deputy Speaker, globally, the COVID-19 pandemic and um, the, the world insecurity impacted growth prospects, disrupted supply chains, and increased inflation risks, with sharp prices in oil and food prices. As a result, our countries have had to respond to this global development. I wish to note the commendable and bold reforms and measures President HH has impacted. Yeah. <laughs> These responses by our countries require state support from the people. In addition, tackling these challenges also requires cooperation and partnership between friends. This was the spirit of my discussion with my brother, President Chilean. We resolved to work together in response to these challenges. I've therefore come to Zambia to cement our intention to work together with Zambia for a brighter future. Yeah. And I can sum up, if I can sum up, my main message on this visit, it will be cementing economic solidarity. Yeah. Yeah. Madam Deputy Speaker, the historic Tazan Railway can bring tremendous prosperity if utilized fully. When fully operational, Tazan can get 5 million metric tons of carbon. Yeah. However, last year records indicate that the railway use all, uh, only used 4% of its capacity mm -hmm. to carry 210,000 metric tons. Clearly, more work needs to be done to utilize Tazara for capacity. On the other hand, the Tazara's capacity to carry 3 million people per year is dwarfed by the reality that even at its peak, a maximum of 564,000 people were carried. Our, our two governments are aware of the importance of Tazara to our economies. Your efforts will be required to resolve the challenges Tazara faces. Your initiatives will also be needed to facilitate the leasing and mobilization of resources for innovations. The same calls for Tanzania Zambia Makuta pipeline, Tazama. Expanding Tazama pipeline is key for Zambia's energy security, and we commit to, do, to doing so jointly. 
we will factor in all necessary considerations, including environmental and security ones, among others. As for the Tanzania Zambia Highway, Transom, linking our two countries, there's some patches that need major upgrades. Tanzania is ready to embark on joint resources mobilization um, efforts with Zambia to finance upgrades of this important infrastructure to further facilitate trade and reduce trade costs. Madam Deputy Speaker, parliamentarians play a key role in fostering bilateral relations. The good intents of our two governments require solid backing of our respective families if they are to bring about the intended outcomes. Members of parliament represent the people and engage in debates about government plans, budgets, and programs. These plans require political backing or funding, which means parliamentary approval is crucial. If MPs are unconvinced or politicize these plans, it hampers progress impacting both Tanzanians and Zambians. The feedback we are getting from the people living along our shared border is that the existing legal framework could be friendlier to business and trade if we do not politicize these frameworks. As such, when our government presented form and outlook-looking proposal to address these non tariff barriers raised by our people will come here to seek your support to solve these impediments. In the same way, Madam Deputy Speaker, in the near future, our bilateral initiative may result in renovating existing shared infrastructure or constructing the new one or the new projects. These projects will certainly pass through your respective constituencies. As members of parliament, your role is key to ensuring that these projects materialize. Your role is, is also important to get the community support to better guarantee the sustainability of these infrastructure projects. It is for these reasons that this house plays a key role in our relations. Madam Deputy Speaker, the volume of trade between Tanzania and Zambia and goods from Dar es Salaam transiting Zambia is increasing considerably, given the potential for further trade growth between our countries. We made the different efforts to increase efficiency at the Dar es Salaam port. First, we designated an area of Kuala Dry Port, and my government has allocated 20 hectares of land for concerning the sign for Zambia. <laughs> the dry port will facilitate longer uh, free story periods up to 45 days yeah. from the current 15 days at the Salaam port. Second, we level the Tanzania electronic single window system that will enhance efficiency in uh, processing documentation. Third, we are finalizing the review of our port tariff book that will set an ecosystem of charging warfare by three United States dollar per tonnage per cubic meter. Madam Deputy Speaker, in addition to these efforts, just recently we entered into agreement with the Dubai Port Company to operate a part of our Dar es Salaam port. As such, we are expected to see more transformative changes in terms of improved efficiency, reduced ship turnaround uh, times, reduced CIA cost, and overall lowering of the cost for users of the port. This is an opportunity for our Zambian brothers and sisters. I hope you will not miss in action. <coughs> Madam Deputy Speaker, the woman upon the border, is a crucial border for trade between Tanzania and Zambia. Yeah. During our discussion, President Chilema and myself set in motion measures to address bottlenecks that exist in the movement of goods and people along the border. As we discussed, removing bureaucratic impediments 
is necessary for the two countries to enjoy the benefits we create. I'm also happy to inform this other assembly that Tanzania is ready to support the construction of a new Cassetia zone border or border post to ease the movement of people and goods. Yeah, 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 yeah. Additionally, I want to assure you that Tanzania is prepared to further facilitate the free movement of people between our two countries by extending the visa free entry period from the 90 days to how you may As I wind up, it is evident that our government has done a lot of work in fostering trade between our two countries. However, like many of us, I believe there is still much to be done to make our economic potential match our political relation. Earlier on, I mentioned the important role of this parliament in fostering the relations between our two countries. Here, I wish to make appeal to the honorable members of this assembly. To the honorable members of this assembly, I call upon you to transmit my message of solidarity to the brother people of Zambia and our rally to them saying TNA Pamos. Yeah. I call on you to transmit my invitation to Zambians to trade with Tanzania and to give them this message of the transformations underway in Tanzania to ease movements of further and further facilitate trade. I call on you to continue to voice the concerns of challenges of Zambians trading in Tanzania and to bring their concerns to us so that our two governments can swiftly table discussion and address any concerns. I call on you, honorable members, to continue to help the people of Zambia to support the various joint projects being undertaken for furthering of our countries. In doing so, it is important to impress upon them that these are their projects done for their benefits and they have role in protecting them. I call on you to support the various initiatives being undertaken to promote trade and investment between our two countries, including by passing the necessary legislation to support these projects, most notably the Tanzania Zambia Railway Act. I call on you to enhance cooperation with your peers in the National Assembly of Tanzania including undertaking excellent visits in the area of mutual interest. And I was proposing to yeah. Madame the Duke Speaker that the next trip you should visit Zanzibar, the other part of Tanzania. Yeah. 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 Lastly, I call on you, honorable members, to continue bringing our two countries and people even closer together. Madam, Deputy Speaker, I want to assure you, Tanzania will continue to play its role in fostering and facilitating regional prosperity, peace and stability. I strongly believe through <coughs> these inten intentions and noble and deliberate actions, we can honor the legacy of our forefathers. We will continue to show solidarity and not shy away from our responsibility to foster common understanding and collaboration between our two people and countries. It is a legacy that we are proud of, and it is a legacy that is also shared with the people of Zambia. I assure, or I assure you of my unwavering commitment and that of the government of the Niger Republic of Tanzania to continue working closely with His Excellency President Hakainde Shilema and the Government of the United Republic, Government of the Republic of the Pope, Zambia, for the mutual benefit of our people. I wish to impress upon you that my presence here today, if there's 
in the esteemed Elder's house. And my engagement with the honorable members speaks volumes about this very commitment. Yeah. Yeah. May yeah. God bless Tanzania and Zambia. May God bless Africa. Sanchez Sanya, Nikomo, Kwame.